cleaned out some shoes. I'm only really getting a pair of a couple, rid of a pair. I'm only getting rid of a only getting rid of a couple pair of shoes. Oh my god, am I okay? I don't know. Hi guys, welcome to our vlog channel. Today is an exciting day because today we get to Marie Kondo our spaces. I'm sure you guys by now know who Marie Kondo is. She wrote a wildly successful book. Now she has a show on Netflix and she's basically inspiring people to get their lives together and clean out stuff that doesn't bring them joy anymore. <laughs> I'm here at home in my apartment and I'm lucky because I just moved in so I did do a little bit of a purge or a cleanup as I moved in. I am not gonna do my entire house with you because that would be crazy and some places don't need decluttering to be honest. Good job, me. So my apartment isn't that big and there are a couple of spaces that I do wanna clean up. So I wanna focus on the closets. As well as my kitchen cupboards. Okay, so in my house tour, I think I very briefly mentioned that there is a basement in this house, but I never showed it to you guys. The reason I never really showed it is just because A, there's not a lot going on down there, but B, it's kind of a mess. So we're gonna address that today. <laughs> the bulk of this space is basically one empty room that houses all the stuff that we are trying to forget about. This is the saddest little sleeping corner. It's an inflatable mattress and a sleeping bag. This is a treadmill that came with the house and I don't use it and I don't want it. I want it out of my life. This is, I don't even know. We're gonna get to it. Oh, some golf clubs, fun. A storage closet, fun. The biggest and baddest eyesore of them all is this massive treadmill. I already know what my answer is. It's not sparking me joy at all. I don't love it. It's, I just want it gone. So I think the goal is to take a picture of it, list it online, it's absolutely free, but you gotta come get it today and see what happens. All right, ad is posted. Let's wait and see if anyone replies. So as per Marie Kondo, you're supposed to dress up and treat this cleaning occasion, like an occasion. So I did put on my comfy little dress. And the other thing is that she says to start with clothing and to pull all the clothing from anywhere that you have it to this one place. So I really just have my front hallway clothing and my clothing in my bedroom. So I'm gonna pull that all. And there's some clothes here on the ground that um, normally I would put away, but since I knew I was filming this video, I was like, these can just stay out. I'm actually crying. I hate this. We need to sort into three different things. Things we want to keep, things we want to donate, and things we want to trash. I'm ready. Thank you. Donate. This skirt I love, but I know it's too big on me. I'm going to try this on and then see if I want to keep it. I have an, I now have a new pile. <laughs> Try on pile. I was going through all my stuff and this piece here was actually one of the first things I ever sewed. Like I did such a killer job. My mom helped me a little bit, but I did this like bow detailing back. I didn't make this from a pattern. I actually like found a dress that I liked. I had this like, it's just even like a cap sleeve dress that I really liked. So this is one of those things where it's like, I haven't worn this in forever, but I feel like I should keep it because it's like the first thing I ever sewed. And I'm not a very sentimental person, but you know, you can't really get this back once you've given it away. You can always buy a new white t-shirt, but you can't get back the first thing you sewed in grade 10. So. I'm gonna keep this. Okay, I think the best plan of action here is to start with these boxes and just kind of go in order. I don't even know what's in them. Sort them, and anything that we don't want to keep gets sorted into garbage, recycling, or donate. The good thing is that most of these were actually just empty moving boxes, so they can all get collapsed and recycled. I have a giant Santa Claus onesie. Where in the world this came from, I don't know. I have never worn this before, and I don't know whose it is. Donate. <laughs> yes, we own a bunch of guitars, which you can see upstairs, but no, I don't think we need two full guitar cases. Donate. 
for a hot sec I was like I should keep one because like what if I need it <sighs> but if I'm really thinking deep down into my soul and what my Anna Marie Kondo wants I know that I don't need any of them we donating all of them today I feel better already making that choice to be honest Okay, and a lot of the other things down here, I don't know what to do about. This is a box of dishware that we got for our wedding. It is the set of dishes that we have upstairs, and we got a couple extra, which is great because if they break down the road, then we have spare. So I have watched a lot of minimalist bloggers uh, in my time, and a lot of them say don't have duplicates of things. So I feel like they would say don't own these multiple sets of dishware, but that is even more extremely wasteful to get rid of it just for the sake of I don't want to have extra things in my house. That's the big thing with this Marie Kondo movement is you have to, I feel like you have to take everything with a grain of salt. Listen to it, appreciate it, accept the knowledge, and then apply it to what actually makes sense for you. So for me, I think I'm going to hold on to these guys. So we'll pack them up nice, keep them out of the way, keep them looking clean. I feel like I've gotten so far, but there's so much more. <laughs> and I feel like I'm just going in circles and just moving the stuff to other parts of the room and it's getting overwhelming. <laughs> <sighs> hey guys, I'm here in the office right now uh, on my own. Crazy. I'm basically gonna be cleaning up and organizing a couple things, starting with the mess you can see behind me our fabric drawer is always chaos because we always have so much extra fabric we're gonna get some baskets build some drawer organizers and just kind of figure out this section of the office so as you can see this drawer is just so crowded and there's no back so everything just falls into this like back section here and gets completely clogged up and i've just kind of pulled out some of the things because i need to figure out where to put it and the last thing is our cables that we use every day to film basically we have this basket which has done us really well and it was actually a DIY but it's starting to fall apart so need to find some new things for that too okay I like this one for fabric 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 we're back from the thrift store got some great baskets we got two i'm thinking that these would be good for fabric because our fabric drawer is crazy all the time nathan measured before we brought the measuring tape they look good then we got this guy okay so this uh will be the new cord bin because our cord bin is falling apart where should we start we're supposed to start ca by category uh, uh fabric, fabric. <laughs> Something I really don't agree with Marie Kondo on, and I will not do it, is fold absolutely everything. She really insists that you don't hang your clothes. I don't know how you're supposed to do that if you have like chiffon or like loose clothing. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm kind of done. I have my giveaway bag here. I have my, I'm gonna call it fix it bag. It's kind of like, I need to get some stuff tailored or like see if some stains can get removed or something. It's looking a lot cleaner in here. Got my pants up here and some skirts. Um, a lot more room in my closet. This looks pretty good. This is now all my workout stuff in here. And then these are all my pajamas. Tops, like rompers and bottoms. Bam. I'm almost done this front entry way. I got this from the thrift store. So I'm just gonna go through this. And then I think I'll be done. Something that Marie Kondo really talks about um, is having a home for things. And that's a really easy way to keep your space clean, making sure that everything has a home. So like when I take off this scarf, I know where it goes. since I've been decluttering, I have gotten a bunch of responses on my treadmill ad. I posted this 30 minutes ago, and I have 10 responses. I'm gonna respond to them now and literally just be like, 
Whoever can come pick it up the fastest, it's yours, baby. How even are anyone gonna lift this? Oh my god. Hi there, you are messaging me about the treadmill? Yes, I'm out. Okay, perfect. I will see you then. Thank, thank you. Very okay, bye. Sounds promising. <laughs> okay, kitchen time. So I'm only really worried about two areas in my kitchen, and that is um, this cupboard, which is where I keep pretty much all of my food. And then also underneath the kitchen sink, I just never really organize it because I find it very hard to organize under there because it's like a vast open space. I do shop at the bulk food store a lot and I have some containers but not enough so I actually might want to run out today and get some more containers because I absolutely hate these plastic bags. I guess this is one of those take everything out and then put it back in situations. I usually keep my snacks on the high shelf which to me is just kind of ridiculous because those are the things I reach for all the freaking time. I feel like I need to move those. So after doing a little bit of work, this is what I have. And then these things I just wanna get some containers for. So I'm gonna run out and do that, but before I do, let's tackle the under the kitchen cabinet area. So I think my first problem is that I don't have a big enough recycling bin, I'm just using this. I think when I go out, maybe I'll get a bigger recycling bin. I don't use this green bin because it doesn't fit my freezer, so I have my own green bin. So instead I use my green bin as like, I guess cleaning supplies. And the real problem is the other side. So I had this kind of like shelf divider thing and I thought it would be helpful for storing things, but I don't think I'm using it to its best ability. I didn't know this was here. Sorry office, I may have stolen this for since like I moved in. Much better. Cleaning supplies, some baking stuff, garbage and I need to get a new recycling bin. Oh my goodness, guys, the treadmill is gone and I am so happy. And now I have like a whole corner of my basement now. It's great. So our sad little sleeping corner is still here. I think it'd be really nice since there's like nothing else down here anymore to get like a chest or something so it's kind of contained, it looks nice. These are so comfortable. These are two cushions that I made forever ago for a bench, but I never got around to making it. If you'd like to see me try and finish that bench um, in a future DIY, let me know below and that could be in a future video. So I think the next plan of action is to take the recycling to the Recycling Depot and take the donatable stuff to the thrift store, garbage to the garbage. We're in a solid place. I'm feeling good. I did change out of my little dress because I'm not going outside in that dress in Canada. Um, but I was gonna head to the dollar store to see if I could get a new recycling bin and um, some jars for things that need to be put into jars. Okay, we're back with our goodies. The first step is to wash out your new containers because you just trust me. You're gonna wanna wash them out. New recycling bin. All those dry, let's see how this guy fits. Oh. Much better. Okay, containers are dry. Time to fill. I honestly don't even know what this one is. I think it's sugar. Sugar. Obviously it's not just about getting these so that I can repackage my plastic bags when I get home. Um, I would actually bring these to um, my bulk food store because they weigh them and then I can fill it with whatever I want and then they'll charge me for that. Better! I just wanted to insert something that I think might cause some confusion. I, I realize I am not doing this exactly in the Marie Kondo method. One of her biggest rules is to clean by category and not by space. And clearly we are doing my basement. 
which is a space. There was a whole bunch of different categories down here and needed to get done. Just letting you know that I'm aware that this is a little bit different than the way she instructs in her book. While I was out, I picked up a basket for these items here and this is gonna become like the alternate bedding, camping supply, sleeping area basket. It looks amazing, it's so clean. This corner is now perfectly all tucked away in a nice little sleeping equipment area. Over here is the last few things that I do need to keep in the basement just because we can't have absolutely nothing down here. <laughs> but the biggest change of all, you guys, is this wall. Oh my goodness. Do you remember it before? So many boxes, so much junk and clutter. Everything that I needed to keep is now tucked away in this closet, perfectly clean and out of the way. Overall, what a difference. All right, you guys, I am super happy with how that turned out. Plus, I'm just glad to have that space finally cleaned because that was like weighing my shoulder for a long time. I had to go uh, hit up some donation centers and apparently some trash bins, unfortunately. But if you like this video, give it a like. If you love it, sub it, and I'll see you next time. enjoyed this kind of like fun different type of video on the vlog channel it's fun for us to do stuff like this it gets us motivated to do things and we get to play around and try and experiment with new kind of stuff if you'd like to see me do other spaces and more decluttering with us type things in the future I certainly have more spaces I can do and let us know below because would love another reason to keep cleaning <laughs> thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye guys